Hi everyone. Welcome to Echo Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us understand what is price ratio and the slope of budget line. In the diagram you can see AB is the budget line which shows different possible combination of good 1 and good 2 which a consumer can buy given his income and the prices of both the goods. Anywhere on the budget line, a consumer is spending his entire income either on good 1 or on good 2 or on both the goods. This budget line is also known as price line because it explains or it shows us one unit of good 1 is equal to 2 units of good 2. Thus, price ratio is equal to P1 divided by P2. According to given information, the price of P1 is 4 rupees and the price of good 2 is 2 rupees. So, this indicates a slope of budget line. That means, to have 1 unit of good 1, consumer need to sacrifice 2 units of good 2. You can see in this table, previously had 2 units of good 1 and 6 units of good 2. Now to have 1 more unit of good 1, he has sacrificed 2 units of good 2. Dear students, after knowing price ratio, we can understand easily the derivation of slope of budget line with the help of a diagram. Assume that the income of the consumer is given and the prices of both the goods are given. Now, the consumer is in the combination of x1 and x2. We know the budget line equation P1 X1 plus P2 X2 is equal to M. What is the P1 price of good 1? 4 rupees. And X1 quantity of good 1 is 2. And plus the price of good 2 is 2 rupees. We have written here. And the quantity of good 2 is 6. We have taken. Just multiply and add you are going to get a 20 rupees which is equal to consumer's income. Now he is going to move from this combination to new combination. In the place of x1 we are going to take x1 plus change in x1 and in the place of x2 we are going to take a x2 plus change in x2. See new quantities that he is going to buy is 3 units of good 1 and 4 units of good 2. Let us substitute in the equation. The price of good 1 is P1. And new combination you can see here. Previously he used to buy the quantity 2. And change in good 1 is previously it was 2. Now he is buying 4 units. That means he is adding 1 more unit. Plus the price of good 2 is 2 rupees and previously quantity purchased is 6 units of good 2 and when he chooses a new combination then he has reduced good 2 from 6 to 4 that means minus 4 e sacrificed 2 units of good 2 so it is indicated by minus 4 then is going to buy a new combination of 3 units of good 1 and 4 units of good 2. So, if you multiply and total this, you are going to get a 20 rupees. It means that any combination and budget line shows the cost of these combinations will be exactly equal to consumer's income. Now let us understand the derivation of slope of budget line by making few assumptions. 
both the commodities are perfectly divisible consumers budget set would consist of all the bundles of x1 and x2 that is banana and mango x1 and x2 are the numbers greater than or equal to 0 that means when you are going to buy a mango it should be equal to 0 or greater than 0 and even number of mangoes should be greater or equal to 0 then the budget set says that any combination which lies on the budget line or any combination which lies below the budget line is included under budget set and it is expressed in the form of equation p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is less than or equal to consumers income it's mean all the combination which lies on budget line and below the budget line is available to consumer and all these combinations together we call it as budget set and it can be represented in a diagrammatic manner then what do you mean by budget line budget line shows different possible combination of two goods or combination of banana and mangoes whose cost is exactly equal to consumers income then the equation will be p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equal to m dear students in the diagram the vertical interception m divided by p1 shows if consumer spends entire income on banana he can buy this much quantity of banana and vertical interception m divided by p2 shows if consumer spends his entire income on mango he can buy this much quantity of mangoes the slope of budget line is shown by minus p1 divided by p2 as budget line slopes downwards to have one more unit of banana he has to sacrifice mangoes the slope of budget line will be minus p1 divided by p2 now let us derive the slope of budget line that is minus p1 divided by p2 without a numerical example the slope of budget line measures amount of change in good 2 required per unit of change in good 1 along with the budget line that means how much good 2 is sacrificed to have additional unit of good 1 is shown along with the budget line consider any two points as earlier we discussed x1 x2 and another point x1 plus delta x1 x2 plus delta x2 on the budget line then the first case can be represented p1 x1 plus p2 x2 equal to 1 for x1 x2 combination for the new combination in the place of x1 we are representing x1 plus delta x1 and in the place of x2 we are representing the new combination x2 plus delta x2 which is equal to m if we subtract equation 1 from equation 2 we can obtain so this is equation 2 okay from equation 2 we are subtracting equation 1 so after multiplying p with this we will get p1 x1 plus p1 delta x1 p2 x2 plus p2 delta x2 okay and we can cancel p1 x1 and here also we are subtracting as we are subtracting this becomes a minus sign so we are going to divide even p2 or cancel p2 x2 p2 x2 similarly we cancel minus m and plus m the left out will be written like this p1 delta x1 
P2 delta X2 equal to 0. This can be rewritten as take P1 delta X1 right side then it becomes minus P1 delta X1. This can be rewritten as delta X2 divided by delta X1 equals minus P1 divided by P2. So, the slope of budget line shows that how much of mangoes a consumer need to sacrifice to have additional unit of banana is shown by the slope of budget line that is the slope of budget line is equal to minus P1 divided by P2. Dear students, you have notes on derivation of slope of budget line with the help of diagram. You can make use of this notes. It is important for 4 marks. Dear students, next topic, optimal choice of the consumer or consumer's equilibrium. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.